What up everybody, welcome back to Barrier Garage. Today, we're installing window visors. Let's go. I bought the visors off of Amazon. The brand is AVS, or Auto Vent Shape. And they cost me 70 bucks compared to the OEM ones, which are, I believe, like 350 to 400, and I can't justify paying 400 bucks for window visors. So, this is what you get in the box. You get four pieces, two for the rear, two for the front. They're also clearly marked, it says here, left rear, right rear, left front, and then the other one is the right front. Little installation guide, don't need that. And two alcohol wipes, or two sets, so four pieces. And uh, let's go install this right now. All right, first things first, get that alcohol pad, open it up, boom. Toss it to the side. <sighs> nice and wet. And all you wanna do is Clean the area, that's all. So if you have it nice and clean, it'll make it easier for the, the tape to stick on. And you wanna clean a little bit of the pillar here as well. But just go over it. And that's all. It's just peel off maybe an inch, inch and a half of the tape. Pull that up, just fold it up so it'll be easier for you to pull it off once you do have it where you want it to. So this portion here of the visor, you wanna stick that on this, between this plastic piece here. So just take this, slide it in, and it may take you a couple of tries, but just wiggle on the piece right there and let it in, and then pull it down, and there you go. So once it's in, you wanna take the other end and you wanna adjust it to exactly where you want it, line it up with the door. So this actually is a little too far back for my preference, so I'm gonna slide the piece in a little more. Okay, don't worry about the front being aligned yet, just focus on the rear portion. Everything will fall into place afterwards on its own. When you have it where you want it, just press down here so it'll sit in place. Okay, so now it's uh, in here and it's taped up over here. So all you have to do is slowly peel this tape, but as you do so, just press down on it so the, the tape sticks on. All right, just press on it, just make sure it's all good. And uh, just make sure you press on the visor portion itself also. Don't just press on the chrome strip, but uh, I mean, do the chrome strip as well, but also get underneath the chrome strip on the actual visor and press down on it a little too because the tape is a little long and it drops down from the chrome strip to the visor also so you want to just make sure it's all nice and secure and you don't want it to loosen up or any of that when you're driving down the freeway so that's done let's head over to the back portion okay now on to the rear what you want to do same process open it up and uh, clean up the area that you're gonna put the tape on all right, so just like in the front, the rears is the same process. You wanna peel it just a little bit. I'm actually gonna, what I'd recommend doing is actually going on the opposite end of where this little piece is here, just because when you stick this on, it'll hold in place, so it'll give you leverage when you're peeling off the tape from the other end. So, just gonna peel this portion here real quick. The rears are much easier to do than the front, because in the rear there's no, uh, there's no area that you have to slide a piece into, it's just direct tape, taped on. So just find a spot right here where you think it looks right for you. I think this is okay. I'm gonna press down. And now that's gonna hold it in place there. And then you could just press down here, line it up. Boom. And then just like in the front, just uh, peel the tape slowly and put some pressure. Make sure it sticks on there. There you go. And then uh, don't forget to press down on the visor as well as the chrome strip. Right, so we're done with this side. Repeat the steps on the other side and uh, you're all done. So we ran into a little problem. Everything's installed properly, but when we roll up the window, check this out. You hear that? You hear that? Let's do it again. Right there. 
it's hitting against it. It's actually a little better now. Earlier it was like very loud and like hitting it to the point where the car actually thought that a hand or a finger was here and the window started rolling down on its own. So, my recommendation, my professional recommendation uh, to all of you who install the visors is uh, after you put this on here, uh, tug on it a little bit for a little while, pull these out, make sure they uh, don't rub against your window because uh, you don't want it rubbing on there. Because if it rubs on there, it's gonna scratch up your window and you don't want your window scratched, you hear me? You don't want it scratched. Not at all. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's hitting. I think it's just because of the packaging. Then I don't know what, but uh, it's rubbing on the window. So we found these little uh, rubber pieces, thin little pieces, I don't know what. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stick it in here, find the tightest point, and just like that. And I'm gonna leave that overnight. So hopefully by tomorrow morning it, uh, it like, bends into this place here and stays like that. I'm gonna do that all around on all four sides. So, <clears throat> hopefully that fixes the issue. So yeah, just look for the tightest spot and slide it in. You just wanna create some gap so the window doesn't hit it as it's rolling up and down, that's all. Shouldn't have to do this to begin with, but they're on and I don't wanna keep scraping on them. So, gotta work with what we got. So just, uh, I'm gonna grab two more, put them on here and the other side. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you guys are gonna pick up a set of these visors. They're the AVS visors. Uh, drop a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. But besides that, peace out guys.